All right, welcome back to the channel. Great that you're tuning in today because we need to talk about something really interesting guitar technique related. So since some of my most recent guitar performance videos and also music videos went just a little bit viral, at least for my standards, I actually got a lot of messages and comments from you guys and girls similar to that one. Wait, are you sweet picking chords? That's I think nutty, <laughs> however I never seen this before, that sound is dopamine on so many levels. So am I really just sweep picking full chords in order to play this fast? Is there actually something else going on technique wise that you might have never heard of? That's exactly what we will check out today and I'm honestly quite excited to present this to you because this special picking technique that I found for myself will make it possible for you to sound very fast, modern, creative and actually kind of different. So let's check out what this is all about. Let's work on my modular picking technique. So first of all, why modular picking? As soon as we move to today's exciting practical examples and exercises, you will see that I'm working with different modules when I'm using this picking technique. That means I have different building blocks each time and the big secret lies within a symmetrical picking approach. So you could actually split those modules and building blocks in half and they would mirror each other. That actually might sound kind of scientific and complex, but trust me, it's actually very easy, especially when it comes to building speed. And it will make a lot of sense as soon as we move to today's exercise exercises. So you can use this special picking technique I want to show you today for rhythm and for chords. But also for my personal favorite applications, guitar solos, arpeggios and lead guitar in general. And it works both with a clean sound and with a classic highly distorted guitar solo sound. But before we get to the awesome exercises I prepared for you today, let's analyze the technique up close and how this works so that you can start at the beginning. Before I was getting really deep into this technique and before I was using it for my own music, you might have seen me refer to it as strummed sweep picking, but I think this is kind of confusing since this is much more than just a slight variation of sweep picking. It's a very different picking approach and playing style and it will allow you to pretty much double your speed instantly once you got the basics down. So if you're subscribed to the channel and part of our guitar community, chances are pretty high you're familiar with sweep picking. <laughs> That's obviously a classic and really cool technique for playing single notes and arpeggios. So instead of playing chords where you have overlapping notes, you focus on clearly separating each note and it sounds quite similar to playing a scale when you're playing a guitar solo, except that you're working with arpeggios. So at one point I got very interested in combining this kind of rhythmic and flowing sweep picking approach with different arpeggios and chords, but instead of separating the notes, I was actually searching for shapes that consciously allowed me to overlap different notes and intervals in them. A very simple A minor 7 shape for example, where I'm really just barring the 5th fret with my index finger like this. Because this allows me to easily work with a chord melody approach so I can move my other fingers around to extend the chord or the arpeggio. So I have my index finger barring the 5th fret, but I can still move my other fingers around and extend the shape. So with my pinky finger and with my ring finger. And after experimenting with this for a couple of months I got these results. And your question right now is how exactly is this different from just strumming chords? Everybody can do this, right? That's easy and it sounds close enough, right? No, at least not to my ears. So when I apply this technique, I focus extremely hard on playing 16th notes or even 32nd notes because this technique allows you to play very fast. Or I could also do it in triplets, of course. So the most important thing is getting this tight and in time. It's really not just some crazy random picking stuff. It definitely shouldn't sound like this. It's a very rhythmical kind of playing and it only works if you're playing tight on the grid. All right, let's move to today's first exercise and practical example. This is one of the main riffs from my recently released single and music video, Dopamine.
So I think this sounds pretty cool and musical right away. This is a great example and application of this technique when it comes to chords and rhythm guitar. Shameless plug at this point, my new album Elevation features this technique quite a lot actually. And it's finally on Spotify and on all streaming platforms and I added the link to that below as well. So now it's finally time to talk about the modules that I was teasing at the beginning. This modular picking technique and playing style sounds so unique because I'm essentially always mirroring a pattern. So when we look at the first chord, which is essentially just an F power chord, so F, C and the octave F on top. And then I also added the open G string, the ninth, so simple but really nice sound. So I essentially just let my hand fall like this. But then I'm playing the G string again and I'm moving into the other direction. So I'm moving upwards with upstrokes. And then the next module starts and I have to play F again with a downstroke. So as you can see, I always have those characteristic note repetitions with this playing style. So a bit slower. The hardest thing is actually playing in time here. So really playing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and so on. And the unique thing about this riff and why it's a good idea to practice it is because you're switching between 32nd notes and 16th note triplets. So you have both your groups of four in there. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And groups of three as well. So this is an awesome and musical exercise that features the two most important groups that you will need. In case this one is a bit too difficult and advanced for you, but you really want to learn this awesome and unique picking technique, I made a full modular picking course for you on patreon.com slash band. This one features some awesome beginner and intermediate exercises. As always, I made exercise video play alongs for you in different tempos that you can practice with, backing tracks, guitar profiles, PDF tabs and much more. So make sure to join our awesome community over there today, the link is in the description and in the first comment below. So the second exercise I prepared for you today is a bit more difficult, but it's a perfect example of all the advanced and crazy picking patterns you can come up with while using this technique. So for this more advanced pattern and exercise, I was playing a C minor at nine chord. One of my personal favorite chord voicings ever. And I was working with a very tricky modular picking pattern. I was always playing groups of three. So three downstrokes, three upstrokes. But the really tricky detail right here is that I'm first playing this on the E, A and D strings, then on the A, D and G strings, then on the D, G and B strings, and then on the G, B and E strings. So that results in some really tricky string transitions that are pretty much impossible without this picking approach. And as you could see, what really helps me with that is switching between the two picking angles so that I don't get stuck in between the strings. Make sure to check out this episode in case you missed it, that one should help you out as well. But as you can see, as soon as you move that modular picking approach away from just playing one chord up and down on a couple of strings, and you start combining different modules on different string groups, you definitely start seeing the full picture and why you should definitely master this really unique and awesome playing style. All right, before we continue, I have to share some shocking news and that's the reason for the dramatic lighting right now. You might remember me saying this just one or two times on the channel. Still around 70% of you guys and girls watching these videos are not subscribed to this channel yet. Okay, more than one or two times. But what's actually really shocking about this, things got much worse. Since the videos reached so many new watchers recently, around 80% of you guys and girls are not subscribed to this channel yet. That means you keep missing tons of extremely important exercises, theory concepts and much more, hopefully entertaining guitar stuff. So make sure to finally join our community today by subscribing. That way you will stay updated from now on and you won't have to listen to this anymore in the future. All right, and to end today's video on a high note, quite literally, I also prepared a practical example that goes more into the direction of using this technique for lead guitar and for guitar solos. Please let me know in the comments if we should do another episode on this modular picking technique with special focus on lead guitar and shredding applications.
All right, my friends, I really hope that you enjoyed today's episode and that you will try today's picking technique. I'm quite sure that you can use it for many different creative and interesting ideas in your songwriting for riffs and for licks as well. In case you want to learn this as fast as possible, make sure to check out the new Patreon course I made for you. This one features tons of really cool beginner and intermediate exercises for modular picking. And since I made a lot of exercise video play alongs in different tempos, I'm practicing this together with you every single day. And that should definitely help you with avoiding bad habits when it comes to learning a completely new technique. And the most important thing, your random German word for today is schnell. That means fast, just like your picking as soon as you learn this technique. As always, make sure to comment that one down below to confuse everybody who's not watching these videos until the end. And I will see you again in the next video. Have an awesome day and tons of fun practicing. Great news my friends, I'm finally on Spotify to provide you with some awesome guitar music and shredding. You can already listen to my first full-length album Elevation. And there's plenty more exciting music in the making for you right now. So make sure to follow me on Spotify today. The link is in the description or you can just search for my name.